All right, guys, I have our next guest of the day here. He's been on Pure Evil MMA before. Zach Bugia is joining us once again. We talked to him in his last fight when he went up against Adam Meredith at Shamrock FC. Uh, 288, I think that was, or 285? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So now you got this upcoming fight against uh, Bobby Volker for the title. Uh, what, what have you been uh, working on? Um, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm very ready for the kind of power he brings. He's just a really big opponent. So, sorry, to camp, camp a little bit early out, uh, six weeks out, to make sure that uh, I have a good strength program and stuff like that, to make sure um, there's no deficit there. But other than that, just game planning and doing my thing. Let's talk about your last fight for a second. Was there anything about your opponent that surprised you going into that fight? Uh, nothing really surprised me. Um, I think uh, I kind of just defended the takedown a little bit better early on. I kind of let him, I just kind of hung back a little bit more than I wanted to. But again, I didn't feel super threatened um, by, by anything at any point. So I just kind of, kind of stayed chill. Um, he got a good takedown, he got a good position, but I just kind of relaxed and, and waited for my moment to kind of turn the tides and, and then I uh, took the fight. And what did you guys do after that fight? Uh, after the fight to celebrate? Yeah. I just drank. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So there's something I got to bring up. Is Are you going to be in a movie or something? What's going on with that? Yeah, uh, the, yeah, yeah, just, just a little small, small local project. project. Um, this, this guy, guy uh, is a local, local, local filmmaker around here. here. He has done uh, something before where I actually did fight choreography for his previous film, which was called uh, From Ashes to Immortality, and that ended up winning some awards. Wow. And that's that's doing really well. <clears throat> he ended up bringing some big names, like Wes Studi um, was in that one, which is really cool. I got to choreograph some stuff for him, which is really awesome. So this time I'll actually have a role in it. And then, uh, yeah, it should be fun. So the movie's called Neosho Falls. Mm -hmm. What is what exactly is it about, and what will you probably be uh, doing in that? Uh, so far, from what I know of the script, it's about a uh, Miocho Falls, not too far from here, from Lawrence. It's an actual place. It's kind of a, it's a really small place. I guess it's kind of like a creepy semi ghost town. I don't think there's too much there. And uh, it's just about uh, an alien shows up, and I'm going to be playing one of the agents or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. The script is still getting. Uh, works and stuff like that, so we'll see. There's a lot of fighters that were actually going to be actors and then fighting came to their life. Paul Felder uh, is somebody that was an actor or was trying to act. But is this something that you're going to pursue? Like, is this something you see yourself doing even after fighting somewhere in the business? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm having fun with it. Uh, it's, it's fun. I really like the, the fight choreography stuff. is fun, too, um, which is how I got involved in the, with it in the first place. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's something that I can see doing in the... In the and pursuing um, this fighting is what I love to do. This is going to be number one. But uh, it's, it's definitely fun to do those, those cool little projects on the side and, and have fun with it. There's actually another another one where I might be playing, playing a little bit more major of a role. But again, it's, a, it's another small film. So it's nothing huge, but there's another one that might be coming up around the corner as well. And then I also saw that you made it into the newspaper for uh, A&E or something like that. <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, just local, local, just local, uh, just local stuff, stuff around here, just popping up stuff about my gym that I have started here in Lawrence. So, just trying to get our name out there because there's a lot of people around the area that don't even know that um, that there's an MMA club in Lawrence uh, because a lot of people just, it just wasn't didn't exist here until like the, until we kind of brought Lawrence Fight Club to the area. So we're just getting that stuff out there. How many people are are at the gym that you've uh, you've been training with? We have, I want to say, eight or nine active fighters, um, give or take. But we're a new gym, so we're still building up a lot. And then we have an affiliate gym, which is in Topeka, which is about uh, 30 minutes away. We do a lot of cross-training with them. It's basically like um, our brother gym. So there's a ton of fighters out there. They've been around a little bit longer than we have, but we do a lot of cross-training with them. So there's, I'm not sure how many fighters they have on the roster, but there's quite a few. So what is your week going to be looking like, uh, you know, from here on? Well, I'm two weeks out right now, and this is the week where I just get the shit beat out of me a lot. Uh, we've already started that process this last weekend. Just uh, some of my coaches, like Kelvin Teller, beats me up a lot. <clears throat> he's a big guy. Uh, some of these bigger guys, it's nice to have around to simulate Bobby because he's a big guy. And then uh, 
yeah, just, just getting beat up a lot this week. My camp started out, like I said, I've, I've been on it for weeks now. Um, so I'm feeling good and I'm feeling ready. I'm just going to hit it hard this week and then the week after that. I'm going to chill out a little bit and just focus on the last final weight cut. Just let all the, the bumps and bruises seal a little bit and be ready to fight. What kind of style do you think your opponent has? Like uh, for anybody who doesn't know who your opponent, they know who you are. How do you match up against him? What kind of style does he have? Bobby Volker is a slugger, man. He's just uh, he's just a push forward brawler. Uh, he's got a lot of power. He's a big 170. He's fought a lot of times at 85. <clears throat> so he's just pushing forward. Um, he has a very uh, aggressive power power striker style. A lot of big hooks. Um, so you see a lot of that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's most. That's mostly his style. Like he's just one of those guys that you can put him down over and over again, um, but he'll pop right up unless you finish that guy. He's just gonna keep going. He's just gonna keep it popping back up and being in your face again. So it should be fun. So how do you see this all playing out in your head, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I'm just gonna put him down over and over again until he stays down. But hopefully that's a uh, that could that could be that could be in the first round or that could be. You know, deep in the, in the in, uh, like in the deep waters, fourth and fifth round. I'm okay with that too. I want to be the more technical fighter. I want to be moving around, um, making him swing in air, and uh, yeah, I think I think I can capitalize wherever it goes because I think it could it could uh, end up on the ground a little bit too. Before we let you go, I gotta get your take on something. I don't know if you're following along, but the Ultimate Fighter is going on right now. Have you been paying attention to it at all? Not really. Uh, which one are we on right now? Cody Nolo against TJ Dillashaw, season 25 already. <laughs> uh, yeah, so many of them. Sorry, who against TJ Dillashaw? Uh, Cody Nolo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Garbrandt, man. Uh, yeah, he's fucking awesome. <laughs> well, I wanted to get your take. Who who do you favor between those two? Because TJ is a guy, he kind of breaks the fighters, his opponent down throughout the round. Cody just goes in there, he put on a phenomenal performance against Dominic Cruz, and just been yeah. knocking everyone out. So how, how do you see that fight going when it happens? Uh, I think it's going to be fun to watch. Hopefully, hopefully, it's just, it's, it's, I'm sure it will go on to some later rounds, but um, I like Garbrandt for it. Yeah. You know, but maybe, uh, maybe not by a huge margin, but I mean, um, yeah, he, again, he looks so good against Cruz. So like, out footwork Cruz is crazy. Um, and yeah, that's that just seemed like that would happen. That's what happened. And I don't know if TJ's going to be able to get over. So before I let you go, this is the last question I promise. Where are you right now? In a, in a, in a psych ward or something? Where are you? No, they're just in my room. It's just a blank wall over here. There was a poster up here, but there's nothing going on right now. Well, I'm actually in my little sister's room, hence the uh, purple walls behind me. But well, Zach, yeah. thank you so much for coming on Pure Evil MMA. What we'd like to do is hand the microphone over to you if you have any sponsors, shout outs. Uh, wish luck to your opponent. Anything at all, the floor is now yours. Yeah, uh, just uh, my uh, chiropractor, Kip Kaufman's always taking care of me. I'm about to go see him a little bit. He's awesome. If you're in the Lawrence area, <clears throat> um, just mostly my coaches right now. Kelvin Tiller's been uh, beating me up a lot. It's been really great. And always Shannon Woodward is always in my corner doing his thing. Lawrence Fight Club, uh, my guys there. We have a bunch of other guys on the Shamrock FC card. It was originally going to be me and five other guys. Um, we're four other girls, four other guys and one girl. But one of the guys fell out, so we got one girl and three other guys fighting. So if you get a chance, if you're in the area, come check it out. Come watch it live. And if not, go to shamrockfc.com, uh, uh, view the fights, and then uh, watch a really Really good card overall. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, watch out for me and Bobby's fight. Shamrock FC has been putting on so many amazing cards between this year and last year. We want to wish you the best of luck at Shamrock FC 289, Zach. Thank you. That's it.